Good morning everyone. This is Dana with Vinyl Designs Cut and Create and today I'm going to show you a video um, comparing the uh, Cricut Maker with the uh, Cameo 3. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and cut a file simultaneously on both machines so that you can see them both in action and I'm going to go over some of the things that I like about each one. Um, I am going to let you know that I'm not cutting through wireless. I have both of them um, plugged up to my computer by a USB so that there's no internet um, internet connection that's going to skew any kind of results. Okay, um, first thing that I want to go over with the Cricut Maker is I really like the fact that they have these little areas for your mat to guide your mat so your mat is straight. So when you load your mat, it, it's going to go, it's going to feed straight. It's not going to feed um, crooked at all. So I'm going to go ahead and load my mat by hitting these um, double arrow signs that's flashing at me. Make sure that you have plenty of room back behind each of your machines when you're loading your mat. It is a little noisy. Okay, now it's all set. And I'm going to do the same thing with the um, Cameo 3. It does have a guideline here for you, um, but your mat still can go in a little crooked. So trying to do this one handed, it's going to um, take me a second here to get this in there and get it in straight. And you're just going to hit your load button. Okay, so loading your mat is a little faster than the Cameo than it is with the Cricut. So, I have each of these um, set up to go. This is the file I'm going to cut. It's six inches by two and a third. And um, it's already welded, ready to go. I'm using the uh, Silhouette Studio Business Edition, but from this point on, it's going to be the same whether you're using Studio or Basic or Designer. I've chose Glossy Vinyl and Cut, and I have my cut lines turned on right here. If anybody has any questions about that, it's right there. And then Cricut Design Space, I have it already um, set up. I'm using the default pressure. I have my mat loaded and I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to hit send. And that is the cameo. the flashing button on the Cricut Maker and it's preparing itself and it's also the same size now my silhouette cameo gave me a job complete but it did not cut so I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna try sending it again just doing this little cap dance Oh, I know what it did. That was my fault. I have the, I'll show it to you. I have the cut lines turned on for my box only, not for the actual um, design itself. So I'm gonna go back and highlight all of that and hit the cut lines and then hit send. Okay, while that's doing this tap dance again, I'm going to go over here to the Cricut Maker. I will tell you it's a much quieter machine. And so I'm just doing this thing now. That was my fault, so I'm not going to be able to see which one is faster. Um, I'm going to let this finish up and then we can go ahead and take a look at it the actual cuts and see how they look with each other. As far as the software, okay, the Cricut Maker is done, so I'm going to go over here and unload my mat. Wait for the silhouette. 
As far as the software goes, um, I haven't used the Cricut Maker. This is actually the second cut I did. The first one was just a test cut. I cut a triangle. Um, so it took me a little bit of time to get to the point where I could cut it, but it's, it's just software ignorance for me. I just didn't know how to do it. Um, I didn't know their setup, but now that I figured it out, um, it is actually quite easy. You just choose your material. And I just let it left the uh, pressure of the default for the way that I'm at. Oops. And the silhouette's still working. Kind of sticky. Uh, probably have um, ruined. It's still it's done cutting, but it's still processing. Okay, so now I can unload it. Okay, um, I'm going to shut this off, and I will put in the comments the um, cut file, what it looks like, so that you can see it. I can't read it um, one-handed. So I will do that for you, and um, I will try and answer any questions that you might have. As far as ease of use, they're both actually pretty close to um, being able to ease, use easily. The, there's just a few little idiosyncrasies with the silhouette cameo, such as having to turn the cut lines on for everything, um, versus where Cricut Maker, it just knows that you want to cut it when you choose that material and it cuts it. Um, the Cricut Maker is a little quieter than the silhouette cameo. Um, I like the guidelines a little bit better. I like, I just think that the tool holder itself is um, more um, firm holding and just built better. And I, I'm not trying to bash silhouette at all. Please don't, don't take it that way. It just, it feels like it's firmer and more um, stable. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off and I'll put in the comments the cut files. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.